Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydro Man. Before I begin guys, I am not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. And I'm just gonna share with you guys some information about oxygen and hydrogen. And we're talking about both oxygen water, hydrogen water, and the gases that you can inhale. In fact, I'm inhaling some hydrogen gas right now because, well, it's a good time while I'm making the video. So let's go ahead and just get on with it. All right, so let's first talk about the oxygenated water. Is there a ton of science to support how amazing it is? No. In fact, is it that amazing in my opinion? Not really, based on the science and also my own experiences. I have done it in the past, and it doesn't have a ton of benefit. There are some flimsy studies, there's just not much, and the, the benefit is looks to be quite small. And that's what I'll say about oxygenated water. As far as hydrogen water, there's tons of studies, hundreds upon hundreds of studies, and it appears to be incredibly beneficial. And I myself have had great experiences from it and people that I personally know and have seen just amazing things that are so amazing that I'm actually surprised that we haven't seen more of it out in the medical world. But I will say that in Japan, they are using it already in the medical field. So obviously they already know about it. Now let's talk a little bit more about oxygen gas inhalation. And in that regard, there is some science. We do use it. Obviously, during emergencies, a lot of times they put people on oxygen. Now, professional athletes, a lot of times people just think that they're just gonna be breathing in a bunch of oxygen, but they actually kind of do the opposite. What they'll do is they'll use less oxygen, like high altitude training, so that they can create more red blood cells. And therefore, when they do get even just the normal amount of oxygen that we get in our atmospheric pressure, or if they supplement some oxygen, they're gonna get greater benefit. Just remember that you can't do this all the time. You have to be very cautious in the way that you use oxygen. I can't emphasize this enough. It goes for hydrogen too, and we'll get into that. But with oxygen, it's very important that you know how to do a proper protocol to get proper benefits, because if you overdo it, you're gonna actually lose a lot of the benefit. And in fact, that's why people who a lot of times get on oxygen never get off of it, because they, they're, they're gonna end up becoming dependent. Their body becomes dependent on it, because your body is adapting to your atmosphere, the amount of oxygen that you're getting in your atmospheric pressure. So it's very important to know how to do the proper protocols. Now, but there are benefits. In fact, there's also some data in regards to like using hyperbaric chambers when it comes to oxygen. And it definitely, again, looks to, to me very, very promising. There is some data in that regard, but what I'll say is that it appears to be more of like an emergency type of medicine that you can't just use all the time. Whereas we shift now to hydrogen, Hydrogen appears to not only be something you can use regularly, but actually has a lot of benefit when you do that. And so, for example, one thing I've noticed about hydrogen is that we'll make less and less as we age. And again, you're making it on the inside rather as compared to oxygen, which you're breathing it from the outside. And on the hydrogen, it's actually the opposite to the oxygen in that it tends to show that the water has greater benefit than the gas inhalation. That doesn't mean that there's no benefit to the hydrogen gas inhalation, which is what I'm obviously doing right now. It does have its benefit and its place, and there is science there also, but the water just appears to be more beneficial. So again, backwards from the oxygen. And if you really want to oxygenate your body, guys, there's really easy and free ways to do it. One that we already know very simply in science is just the food you eat, believe it or not. A lot of the fruits and vegetables, the way you regulate your pH in your blood is gonna help you with saturation of oxygen levels in your blood. The other one's a really neat breathing technique called the Wim Hof Method. It's free, you don't need any special equipment, and it's definitely backed by science. They've done some interesting studies, and it's, it's definitely proven to be effective. So I have other videos on that, and there's other videos that you can find on that too that you can definitely look into that. So that's free. On the hydrogen aspect, you know, this is another thing. You need not only the proper equipment, because here's one of the things, again, where I caution you is that there's equipment that really, there's methods to getting hydrogen in you that from what I can see, they're not good and could potentially cause more harm than good. So that's one of the issues. And the other thing is that you have to try to get quite a bit of it. So you have to drink, for example, good amounts of water and you have to inhale again the gas if you wanna get that type of benefit. I've seen people who just go straight with the water and they tend to do pretty well. But if you really wanna maximize it or you're trying to get the most out of it or you, you really want it to be therapeutic, as I would call it, then you're gonna to wanna to not only you get to get certain amounts, but you wanna make it a certain way so that it's clean and safe because you're gonna be using it a lot, guys. I've seen benefits come from after years of usage and you don't wanna be using stuff with like shady metals. Uh, you know, for example, I don't buy any of the stuff from like China 
even if they claim to use metals from somewhere else, I, I don't use any of the Chinese stuff or even any of the Korean stuff anymore. I want the best when it comes to hydrogen and I just, I use the Japanese stuff. In fact, the stuff that comes from like the number one hydrogen company in the world that happens to be in Japan. That's the equipment that I like to use because of the safety parameters, but also in order for it to be effective. And uh, as far as protocols, be really cautious with that too, because I've had a lot of people contact me where they hear different protocols from different places and they share them with me and they're actually lousy. I, have, I, have, I haven't heard one good protocol from anywhere else at this time. I definitely have my protocols that I've developed and, I, and through time I've been able to fine tune them and see what works, what doesn't. And I pretty much have it dialed in now and it's really, really effective. In fact, I'm working with a lot of people right now and eventually hope to actually have some more studies showing the actual protocol that I use and how effective it is. But I'm already seeing it working with a lot of people. So those are kind of some of the difference between hydrogen and oxygen. If I wanted to choose one, I definitely choose hydrogen because oxygen, again, it's I'm already doing the things, to be honest, to get the, oxy the oxygen that I need in my body. I don't need to try to necessarily supplement it with like oxygen water or even oxygen therapy. Would there be some benefits? Again, yes. Proper protocol, proper equipment, and you just have to know how to use that oxygen. It can be toxic. Remember, it's oxidizing. Look into deep sea diving, guys. That will explain a lot about how toxic oxygen can be and how dangerous it can be as compared to something like hydrogen. It's a really interesting charts that I found. I should probably, maybe I'll share them on another video if you guys wanna check that out. But it's very, very interesting and very, very important when you're really trying to improve your health. So yes, oxygen is important though. Like all things in life, everything is about balance. And I hope people understand this. And if you have more questions about this subject, comment below and I can make another video if you guys like. This is coming because of some questions that I've been receiving. And don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe and hit you know the thumbs up if you're appreciating the information that I'm bringing you guys. And that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on the next one.